Welcome back to the Lazy River. Today we are going to get into the topic at hand, which is metabolic bone disease. We will be covering what it is, what causes it, and what you can do to treat and prevent it, allowing your pet turtle or reptile to lead a healthy life. This video will be a little bit different than your typical Lazy River episode in the fact that it will not have too many video clips, but rather I will be showing some slides and I will be also talking about what the topic is. Before we get into that, please give yourself a chance to subscribe to the channel and follow on Instagram. The info will be in the description below, or it may be right here on your screen. Either way, you'll be able to find it. Today's topic came in about after someone frantically wrote in saying, Help! My pet turtle shell is getting soft. What should I do? I got some information on the individual's pet and gave him some instructions. I believe that it was MBD, metabolic bone disease, but I haven't been updated on anything yet. First of all, we need to understand what is MBD. MBD, metabolic bone disease, is a condition that results in an imbalance of calcium in the body, which causes a weakening of the skeletal structure. This condition can lead to other issues like bone fractures, severe weakness, or death if left untreated. Turtles who have suffered from MBD often sport deformed shells as its distinctive characteristic. Here is a picture of some turtles with healthy shells. And here are some pictures of turtles whom have suffered from MBD. I'm sure from looking at these photos, you yourself can see the difference between the healthy shell and the shell of a turtle whom is plagued by MBD. Now that we've taken a look at those and you can see the difference, what we need to know is what causes MBD. MBD is caused by a lack of calcium and proper lighting. When we keep our pet turtles without these two things, turtles can and will get weak, especially younger turtles developing what is known as the soft shell syndrome. The soft shell syndrome is causing their bones, carapace, and shell to easily warp, which in turn can lead to internal difficulties down the road. When I say these internal difficulties, I'm talking about the fact that the shell has been warped. It's not to the normal pattern of growth. So when it's like all deformed and whatnot, that doesn't matter because what's inside is still going to grow, meaning internal organs and things of that nature. Now, think about it. When the shell has been deformed and the internal organs inside are still growing and trying to expand, you can see that maybe something in there could get cut off or something might rupture, which is not a good thing. So we need to be able to provide our pet turtles with adequate lighting and a supplement of calcium to keep them going. It's important to know that UVB helps with the absorption of calcium, which the body needs to stay strong and grow. When owning a pet turtle, it's important to provide these things. So comes the most important question. What can I do to treat and or prevent MBD? In the event that your turtle is suffering from a vitamin deficiency such as MBD, you can get them a UVA for heat and a UVB for their calcium absorption. These two lights, the UVA and UVB, are very important because the UVA will provide the heat, like the heat that would come from the sun. Now, turtles being cold-blooded animals are not able to regulate their body temperature, such as, you know, a mammal would. Uh, a turtle has cold blood, meaning that whatever temperature the current environment is, is what their body temperature is going to be. So it's important that we need to provide them with that UVA for the heat. Now, what we need to talk about is the UVB. The UVB will be similar to the UVA in that they're both lamps, but the UVB is basically, in a sense, a way of saying it is that it's the light, the ultraviolet light, which would come from the sun. 
Now, you know that we do need sunlight uh, to provide us calcium as humans. Well, UVB is important for turtles and for their bone and shell development. And it, like I said before, it helps to absorb the calcium. Now, also for extra calcium, you can try dipping the turtles' foods into a calcium powder prior to feeding them. Let me show you a picture of that real quick. Even you could offer cuddle bone. Cuddle bone is filled with calcium, and it's also good for the beak of the turtle. It kind of lets it be shaved down and, you know, kind of trimmed up to where it should be. Kind of think of it as a bird. You know, birds use cuddle bone for their beaks and for calcium. A turtle's almost the same type of thing. The only difference being one is a bird, one is a reptile. If, in fact, your turtle is suffering from soft shell syndrome, it's important to keep their water shallow. Provide an ample dry space under the lamp for them to completely get out of the water. Let me show you some quick pictures of what I'm trying to describe here. You'll notice that it's going to be super shallow. Only just enough water for the turtle to go in there and get a little bit wet. And this is especially important if it's a smaller or younger turtle. Uh, the deeper that the water is, it's going to be harder for them to swim. But it'll make it easier for them if the water's shallow and you have a lot of flat rocks or a nice basking space for them to get out and get completely dry. Because when they have that soft shell syndrome, what they're lacking is, of course, that UVB and that UVA. So they need to be able to get out and get a spot where they can get dry and get under that ultraviolet ray. That's going to help them to cure that soft shell. So here you have it. It's very simple to take care of your beloved pet turtle and help them against the fight on MBD. It all starts with you, and knowledge is power. I just want to say thank you for tuning in and to follow us on Instagram at Lazy River US. The info will be in the description. Also, before we go out, I wanted to give a special shout out to Lovely Turtle 0901 and Do No Harm on Instagram. Thank you guys for your support, and you both rock. And all I need to say for now is I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for tuning in. And until next time, stay lazy, and adios.